Do you hear that? I think there's someone near here. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. What are you doing here? I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. Aren't you afraid of the abominations? Of course. I am defenseless and if I ran into one, I would surely perish. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. How can you be so calm? He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. What's this Nile trying to do? I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. How is that worse? Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. we doing? Have you thought about it? We're making sure no one disrupts. Quiet, both of you. You can hurt nothing. Keep your eyes open. Please don't kill me. Tell me why I should spare your life. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. And so you fought back? The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. And all you do is wallow in self-pity. Pathetic. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. I'm sorry, but I do not know what I can do for you. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. 
You know, they'll never take you. They're very picky about who they let in. Harlots, murderers, yes. Maleficarum, oh no. Your comments betray your ignorance, Alistair. The Chantry accepts all, regardless of what they've done. Well, it seems you're familiar with a whole other Chantry, because the one I know wouldn't hesitate to shove a sword of mercy right through her heart. No. Liliana is right. I just want my life. Please. How will you get out? With blood magic? I'll find a way, please. I swear I'll do something good with my life. I will spare you. Do not make me regret this decision. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. Allow me. I could do that for you. A fine gift. You have my thanks. It's all right. You can come out now. Are the demons gone? Is it safe? I don't want to, to die. We've dealt with them, trust me. If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Ugh. 
Oh, ah, yeah, yes. What's wrong? Oh, I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, not as pleased as I am that you came along when you did. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. We've killed most of the demons. You could escape. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Very well. Take care. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. something left. There you are. Little mages. Yes, of course. On my way. Mm-hmm.
That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Let us end this. Healing would be helpful now. Hold their masks wide and dance out to the moon as we did in those golden days.
What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. What do you hope to find within it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. Something I can help with? What do you know of this place? Next to nothing, I'm afraid. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. Let's talk about something else. Something I can help with? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? I heard that in Orle, minstrels are often spies. Where did you hear this? Someone told me a long time ago. And you believe everything you hear? <laughs> Not all minstrels are spies. Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are... are what we call bards. And the bards are spies? Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Patron? What sort of patron? Nobles, mostly. In Orle, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite and in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. You were a bard, weren't you? I have revealed too much, it seems. But it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. So that's where you learn to fight like that. My skills served me well. But the day finally came when I decided to just put them aside. I... found myself in Ferelden, and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just... did not want to leave. I like to see the Maker brought me here. I await your command. Never mind. 